Will today be the day EA finally drops some new content? I'm praying, make it happen. Do you have no coins and you want to complete all the brand new SBC cards? I've oh got nothing left. Well then head over to mulefactory.com for the cheapest, most safe and reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. Okay boys, so today we are here with a brand new video and we are here for some brand new content on FIFA 22. I feel like EA have barely dropped anything recently, like literally nothing, but we have finally got some stuff hopefully today to open up. I mean, that's the reason this video should be going out. If you guys have opened up any of the brand new content, whether it be packs or player picks, let me know in the comments below what you opened up and what you managed to get back. Was it good for you? Was it bad? Bad. FIFA 23 is nearly here, so if you guys are new, please do hit that subscribe button. We're going to be dropping so much content through FIFA 23, so do not miss that as well. It should be good. Anyways, that's really enough of me talking at the start of the video. Let's get ourselves straight into the packs and player picks, and then I'll see you guys after. All right, year review player pick is here. We're about to open up the first one on my account. Hopefully, we can see something good. I don't know what players are in this, like where it's up to, what SBC cards you can get, but fingers crossed, it's going to be good. Let's crack it open, and let's see what we get. For the first one, I'm going to straight up open it. I was thinking about re revealing it, but then I thought, you know, we're in September. Let's just straight up open it. We're going to open up some 85 times 10s in here as well. Hopefully, we can get some of the new batch, but let's do this in three, two, one. Please, something big, something big. Oh my God, Coleman's not bad. Melito, but uh, who do we take? Coleman's actually a dub. Coleman's actually a dub. I mean, Pellegrini, just no, but Mbabu, Coleman or Melito? I don't know how I'm taking that. Actually, I've just been told in the chat, and they're completely correct. And Babu was an objective. So that means we might get a free one back. Get these opened up now. I mean, by the time this video is out, yeah, they might have patched it. But, you know, let's send some more. That's what I want. Compensation right now, EA Sports. Right, I've decided to go with Komen. We're going to take him, but Babu's definitely an objective. So I should get compensation there. Thank you very much, EA. Also, we've got our free pack here. An 85 plus player. Let's see if we can get anything from this then. Come on. Send us something sick. Team of the season. Is it going to be one of the new batch players? De Bruyne? Ah, yeah, I've got... You idiots, EA. You absolutely drew me in there and did me over. But, I mean, I think he is part of the new batch because I don't remember getting him in 85 times 10. So, we'll take him. All right, shout out to the man Gooby here. We've got another one of four year in review player picks. Make it something sick here. Come on. I don't, like I said, I don't know what the best players you can get are. Apparently, you can actually get objective players. At least someone said. I don't know if they're right. Uh, I need to read it next time I build one. But, let's see what Gooby gets here. All right, he's cracked it open. Come on, then. Okay, yeah, objective cards are definitely in here. Who the hell do you take? Do you... Probably Lozano, right? I'd probably say Lozano, yeah. That's what I would have taken. Uh, it's not that that wasn't the greatest pick. That sadly was not the greatest one. That's kind of annoying. Oh, well, we joined one late. Reese James is in these. Oh, my God. That, that's a really good pick. He's got both Melitos. He's also got Reese James, who I personally would take. I mean, obviously, rating white. If you're going to use him, definitely take him. That's a dub. Chris Wood is also very good, but... If you're not going to use any of them, obviously take one of the Melitos. I don't know which one's better, but that's not a bad player pick at all there. He's gone for Reese James. I don't blame him at all. Very, very good card in game. I sadly lost him in a SBC video. But anyways, that's besides the point. Let's open some more of these. All right, Knox for Life is here. Apparently, sadly, these are only once repeatable per day. I mean, I guess it is SBC and objective card, so it should be in a way more rare than like the campaign bags. Anyways, let's see what he gets here in the player pick. Dan James, Melito, David, Diaz! Oh, that's a dub. Oh, that is a dub. Once, we've seen Melito a lot, but Diaz has got to be probably one of the best ones we've seen so far. Uh, obviously, he's not the highest rated, so it depends. If, if he's going to use him, take Diaz, but if not, obviously go for the fodder. That's what these are all about. But Diaz is a very good card. Very good card. And it looks like... I think he's going to go for Diaz, or is he just baiting us in there? I don't know, but I if you want to use it, if you want a usable player, Diaz, as he doesn't already own him, or if you don't really want any of them, obviously take the highest rated in Melito. And he's gone for Diaz. I don't blame him at all. Very good card to take. All right, Abdul, here we go. Year review again. Coburn, James, Melito, Chiesa. Ooh. Ah, oh, God. Who's the best usable one here? I don't know. I don't know how good that Melito is, because I didn't complete either of the ones. Obviously, Dan James was, I believe, an objective. Um... I don't know. That's quite a hard one, you know. That's a hard one to choose. All right, he's gone for Melito. I assume he probably didn't want to use any of them. So he's gone for, you know, the highest spotter. It makes sense. It makes sense for sure. All right, Mr. Hayden here. I think this is like number five, six, maybe seven. I don't even know. Oh my God, he skipped it. That's an interesting one. Apparently, from what I heard, when Zapata came out, was he was very good. I mean, I haven't used him. He's also the highest rated. So I'd probably take him if you're not going to use any of the other three, which I don't think you will. And he's five star, five star. So it's not the worst. Not the worst. That's not a bad one at all, really. I think it's usable. All right, Mr. Doostyland here with a wonderful year in review player pick again. Okay, let's see what he can get here. Hopefully it's good. 
What's the best one so far? Probably maybe like Diaz as our best one so far. Martina Mount? Barella? That's a that's a tricky one. That's a tricky one. I'd probably say Barella for the 5-5, five, five, I believe. Yeah, I'd probably go with the Barella. He's also the highest rated. Um, Mount's not bad. But yeah, I'd probably say Barella there. Five star, five star. A very good card. It's a dub. It's a dub for sure. Um, I would 100% take him. Obviously, strong link to any Serie A player as well. All right, Mr. Halix is here now. And this might be like number eight or something like that of these year review player picks. Last one was pretty good. Barella's got to be up there with some of the best ones we've got so far. Let's see what he gets in this one, though. And Babu, James. Oh, Barella again. I think you've got... You either take Barella or James there. Depends on your team. If, if you can fit a Premier League right back in, I'd definitely go James. He's so good. But Barella's also, like, like I said last time, like really good. So it depends. If you can get either of them in your team, take the one that like, fits in your team. But if it's between both and they can both fit in, probably Barella pushes it depending on who you've got a right back already. And he's gone for Barella. I do not blame him at all. All right, Mr. Vibes in the house. One of four year in review. I still don't know the best play you can get from this because I haven't still looked at like the dates. The Pata, Wood, James. I mean, Zapata, five star, five star. Wood is pretty solid as a centre back, but oh God, I'd probably go with Zapata, I think. It could be a very good super sub. Like, it gives you a different option off the bench in terms of like height, etc. as well. Um, so Zapata is good. If, if Wood fits in your team, you could go for him. And he's gone for Chris Wood. Nice, not bad. He's a very solid centre back in game. All right, FX Kane here with a 93 plus icon moments play pick. We might as well check it out. Let's see if we can see like an R9 Cruyff bullet, Eusebio, something like that would be sick to see. All right, he's cracked it. Oh, dearie me, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Oh dear. Oh, they have shafted him horribly there. Oh God, Baresi. Yeah, just take Baresi for the fodder, mate. That's all I'm going to say. Just take Baresi for the fodder. I'm so sorry that EA have just done that to you. That is vile. That is disgusting behavior. Absolutely disgusting behavior. Well, I was hoping to open up some 85 times 10s uh, to end off the video, but the foot service is currently experiencing a high volume of server traffic. So servers are looking a bit ropey right now. Basically, if you're on the game currently, don't back out because it looks like you can't get on, which is annoying. So, you know, I tried. I was going to do some, but I think I've got some from the other day, which I'll show you guys. Let's check them in and then I'll see you guys after. There we go, then that wraps up today's video on the new content. Like I said earlier, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what you managed to get in your player picks and packs as well. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.